What's up guys, welcome to the Marquee Oasis. Currently under construction, but that is okay. We got about 200 plus acres here. I can't wait to show you guys it today. It's very special to me and my family. With a day off, not working out, not doing anything, what better place to be out here with my dog, with a side-by-side -side ATV and just having a good time. I'm Mon Humphrey, this is the Marquee Oasis, and this is my day off. Come check it out with me. At. I've had this place for coming up on a year, so a lot's been done. Marquee Oasis, it really didn't have much meaning, but it just sounded like a name, and when I said it out loud, trying to figure out what it, what it could be, it just seemed to stick with me. And so I, I went with it and um, I haven't looked back. This is the crib. All this is gonna be gone. So this is gonna be just one big open room with the kitchen. Walk outside. When you guys come back, this house is gonna be booming. It's gonna be booming. So a, a typical day, kind of just slowly do things, getting up. Uh, might have to run, go meet with somebody, uh, meet with the architect. My contract tool usually will be here. He'll have something fresh on his mind about what they're doing. With Corona, things have been a little delayed. I was expecting to come get done with the season and walk into a house, but I just love being out here. I love, I've really become more nature filled. But I was like, why don't you get a camper? I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get a camper. So this has been my off season crib, as you see. But let me show you inside. Pretty nice camper. I mean, I think it's, I think it's state of the art. We got the living room, nice, beautiful couch. Uh, look at that. This turns into that. Boom, I have slept there before. Then you got the table. Nice little table, sectional couch. We got one some lights to come in, boom, we got the lights coming in. And then a nice easy bedroom. You know, you don't need much. I recently just signed a deal with the Ravens. A new contract means you get a little more, you know, money. And my coach is like, why are you living in the camper? I'm like, what do you mean? Well, I live in the it's been funny to tell people I'm living in the camper, but it's been even funnier when they come and visit me and then I'm like, this is where I'm living. I personally consider myself a humble guy, and for Lamar to be you know, MVP, everybody wants to be around him, know him, this, that, and the other, and to remain the humble guy that he is makes me very appreciative to, for him to be my teammate. That's the biggest thing. If you're, if you're a humble guy, you got major humility, I'll definitely show major appreciation for you. Family was probably the biggest reason why I, I, I got this place. My uncle's a big gardener, big gardener. So, he kind of helped me with this, but I've kind of forgot what a lot of things are. Some broccoli going on. I don't know if he put jalapenos. Those are green onions. That, that row. What I'm most excited about is these trees. So I love fruit. I love fruit, love, love, love fruit. And I've always wanted just to be able to walk outside, grab some fruit, and then keep going. My personal favorite, and they are growing. Very excited about this. Is look at that peach right there. I mean, that peach is growing. And then also alongside this side. So it was a long day laying all this grass. It was, uh, it was a good workout, um, but I didn't know that. It's something I learned. I didn't know laying side would be that tiring, but I really love doing things that involve outside when it's like hard work. You know, I, I've kind of gotten a lot of workouts from, from doing this. You kind of start feeling pretty good, pretty, pretty good workout. And whether it's chainsawing a tree, picking up the logs, cutting the trees and different things, it's some good workouts. So I, I really like the, the outdoor work when it's, when it's pretty tough. Off season, you can have fun, be out here, do this, do this. Got to train still, but when you step into the field, it's time to flip the switch, and that's kind of how I saw Saban. He was a little smile with you, laugh with you, but when it was time to work, it was time to work, and when it was time to have fun, he, he had fun. And the fun was after winning. And he's a guy that just doesn't really like to lose. I don't think he cares too much about winning. I think he's, he just doesn't like to lose. So I'm gonna show you guys a little spin around the property. Got a lot of water to cover and a lot of land to cover, so let's, let's get started. So, 
I got a lot of water out here, so I named all the water. Most of them have some sort of significant meaning. So the street I grew up on was uh, Woodbine Lane. So this one is uh, uh, Woodbine Pier. And then when I was younger, I competed in a track meet, and it was in uh, Donetsk, Ukraine. So we named this one Lake Ukraine here. So see if you got these trees. This point here is what a beaver leaves after it gets done. So right now they're getting at this tree, they're getting at that tree. This is kind of what they have done over here. So I've undammed it, but this whole, this whole thing, all this is from them. They've already started trying to build it back up, but it's probably been raining so heavily, it's been hard for them to stop it. That happens, that happens out here often. Gosh, that was very rotten. Something I have learned very quickly, invest in some boots. Tennis shoes are not good to be walking up stuff like this and falling in water and This is of course be where the pool will be and the gym and it's gotta be Marlene Way in honor of my grandmother. This is a good example of my dad. So this is gonna be a shooting range. Um, you got a lot of land like this, the really cool thing that's been special for me and other people. You don't have to go to a shooting range, you can just come out here and this is making it a lot more safe, having a, a roof. Um, your own individual bay with your own little box that comes up to here, and your shells pop, makes everything a lot more safer. So that was kind of the vision behind this, um, to have a safer way to shoot guns and, and different things like that. The attitude of kind of just doing things yourself definitely comes from my father. You have such a great appreciation for things when you do it yourself and man, accomplishment. I did, I did that myself. We'll go in here real quick, we'll go in here real quick. Stuff's everywhere, I got another side-by-side, -side four-wheeler, tractor. These are fun once it gets warm out, which is basically getting warm out, so we'll pressure wash these and get them back on the water, and some fishing reels, which I need to grab one of these. Now, I've learned a lot. It's been a, it's been a, a big year of just of learning and, and growing uh, about things that I can't really ever thought I would need to know. I had really no um, envision for it. I just thought it was my awesome land. And it's been a lot of learning. And it's, it's been cool though. Guys, thanks for coming out, checking out the day with me. Had fun, but I seriously gotta go finish this house, so you guys gotta go. Get out of here. <laughs>